see you again. It's been a while. Finally finished sulking, have we? I was not sulking. I was merely reflecting upon the outcome of our last challenge. Which if you'd like to see, and I would suggest you do if you're a little bit confused as to what's going on here, there will be a link down in the description. I wouldn't bother, it's not worth watching. Don't listen to anything this sore loser says. I'm not a sore loser. If that's true, then prove it. You, me, round two, right now. As you wish. Victory will be mine this time. Let round two commence. Alright, what are we crocheting this time? Loser's choice. I suggest clothing. Clothing. You want to crochet clothing. What are you insinuating? You know what? Never mind. Let's crochet some clothes. You're going to steal my laptop again, aren't you? And here we are, round two of Lee vs. the Robot Menace. Don't call me that, you hairless ape. As decided, this time around, we're going to be competing to see who can crochet the best clothing item. I've chosen to crochet a jumper. Yes, I've already made a number of them at this point, but in my defense, I have a pretty awesome idea that I want to bring to life, which is what I'm going to do. Before I can actually do that, though, I'll have to wait until Roboraptor is done with my laptop. He says he's working on his own project. I have a sneaking suspicion he's watching dinosaur YouTube videos. Uh, excuse me. You're supposed to be working. Finally got my laptop back and here is my design in all its pastel glory. Pastels wouldn't have been my first choice in colours for this project, but it is the yarn in my stash that I want to use up. So that's what I'm going with. Now for the hard part where I take all these tiny little squares and painstakingly transform them into crochet stitches. This could take a while. A disaster. I was working on the final bit of color work that I need to do, which is the text here. The disaster might be a bit hyperbolic, but I did bugger up. So let me show you, let me show you on the graphic. It might be easier to see that way. All right, so check this out. In between each of my letters, I've got a single space, a single space, a single space, another single space, one more single space. What's this? A single space. And then bam, two spaces. And I did not notice this until now. Oh, I'm so annoyed. And I don't want to frog my work, but I'm gonna have to, cause that's going to drive me nuts. Just keep frogging, frogging, frogging. What do we do? We frog, frog, frog. Because I made a stupid mistake. From panel finished. This has taken a few months just because I've had to stop so frequently to give my hands a break. Uh, I may have also needed to re-record the introduction but I don't want to talk about it. Despite that the front panel is now finished and you know what? This project has turned out almost exactly as I pictured it initially and I don't know how to react in this situation because this never happens to me. Not to worry though, there will be plenty of time for me to make mistakes as I start crocheting the back panel. In a strange and unusual turn of events, I have somehow managed to crochet the entire back panel without buggering it up. My suspicions continue to grow. Maybe I just got lucky this time around and as a robo-raptor who's had to deal with all the mayhem and misfortune. Let's hope so. I mean, let's go check on him and make sure he's okay. You made any progress yet? Why do you humans refer to this as an artificial intelligence? There is no intelligence on display here. Just look at this nonsense. I mean, it kind of 
works if you're going for an amorphous blob. Hilarious. Are you just going to stand there and mock me, or are you going to help? Well, I'd like to stand here and mock you for a little while longer, but I have a jump part to put together and a competition to win. Good luck with your blob pattern. What a sh**. Time to try some different prompts. Sleeves are going to be added next, and I want to color block this thing. So I will have to choose between all of these and decide what color goes where. Initially, I was thinking the orange for the, the cuffs, the waistband, and the collar, but I reckon I might go with yellow instead, just because I think yellow matches nicer with purple, but also like my dino has yellow sort of spines. So yellow spines, yellow outer parts on the jumper. It kind of works. So I might save that for the all the ribbing pieces. I want a blue sleeve. I mean, that's, that's a given. So what am I going to do for the final sleeve? I've got green, I've got pink, and I've got orange. I won't go with green just because the dino is already green. I've got plenty of green in this jumper already. Pink. Nah, which leaves me with the orange. So orange sleeve, blue sleeve, yellow for the ribbing. Let's go. And done. What do we think? I look amazing. Actually, I think we both did pretty damn well. And despite pastels not being my first choice in colours when it comes to clothing, they've kind of grown on me. And they do make my inner five-year-old very happy. So final thoughts? I do like my jumper. It is very boxy and frumpy, but I think it kind of works in this situation. Going forward, I want to try some more shapes, some more form-fitting clothing. This will probably be my last more frumpy piece, but I don't know. The frumpiness just works in this context. I like it. One thing I did attempt to do with this one that I haven't done with pieces before was shape the arms and more of the neckline because with my last project, what was that? I think it might have been my mesh panel sweater. The neck was much smaller and I didn't really like it, you know, pressing so close to my throat. So I tried to shape this, make it a little bit wider and I did achieve that. So I like the neckline much better. The arms, however, could use some work. I would like to come up with a design where the, the torso section finishes at the edge of my shoulder rather than carrying on sort of down my arm, but it doesn't look too bad. That's just some improvements, some things I want to try for next time. Other than that, I don't have much to say. I think the jumper speaks for itself. You got anything to add? I'm a fashion icon and I clearly won the challenge. Gotta disagree. Yours is nice, I'll admit, and it's a significant improvement over your round one attempt, but I still think mine is better. Yours doesn't even have any spines. That's a fair criticism, but I still think mine is the superior jumper, even if it doesn't have any spines. I think round two goes to me and you just don't want to admit it. Fine. Since we can't agree, let's get some outside perspectives. Comment below who you think won this round. The adorable pastel human-made jumper, or this, 
the definitely 100% entirely crocheted by a robot raptor cardigan. If you don't pick mine, I will find you and eat your yarn. I'm sure threatening people will really endear them to you. Before Robo Raptor and I finish here today, it is time for... You want to help me out here today? Certainly. Today's featured creator is the Crochet Wereslov. And the Crochet Wereslov says, Crocheting for about 10 years, really got into Amigurumi a couple of years ago, love fantasy, monsters or realistic animals. Biggest animal I ever made was a whale shark. Started trying to sell my finished pieces last year. I wish you the best of luck with your store. Will you be selling crochet wear sloths? I want to know what a crochet wear sloth actually looks like, but all of the crochet wear sloths links will be down in the description. So make sure you go and give them a follow, check out their store. If you would like to participate in the hookup, there will also be a link to a Google form, which you can fill out. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Video. Thank you very much for watching. A further thank you to all my patrons for your amazing support. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it if you think it's worth sharing. And I will see you all next week with another video. I shouldn't have done that. That hurt my shoulder. <laughs> oh, that's that's sad, isn't it? I hurt my shoulder by pointing. Uh, it's good to know I've reached that stage of life. You know, I kind of want to make a Yarnivore plushie now. I just think it would be nice to have a cute little dinosaur buddy. I'm right here.